Hi, I'm Dan Rittman, Director of Engineering here at Exact Technologies. I'd like to talk to you today about a new feature in our 2.9 release of Exact Vision, uh, which we call cropping. Uh, many of you have been interested in the new megapixel cameras that have come out from a number of manufacturers, and those cameras are great. They produce spectacular images. One of the drawbacks, though, is that they take up a lot of disk space and network bandwidth to, to use those images. So our new cropping feature allows you to optimize the capture of your camera to the scene. Uh, for example, in, in this image, we've got a lot of space at the top that's just clouds and trees and space at the bottom that's grass. So um, some of the new camera manufacturers have, have implemented cropping in their IP cameras and we can now take advantage of that in the Exact Vision software. Let's go to the configuration screen for this camera. Another new feature, if I right click on the camera and click on camera properties, I can jump directly to the configuration page for that camera. From this page, we'll edit the crop window, hit the edit button, and then we can draw a rectangle on the screen for the area of the image that we care about. When I hit apply, we now transmit that information off to the camera. The video goes away momentarily. And now we see that the top of the image and the bottom of the image, which had regions that we didn't care about, are cropped to black. Uh, if I go back to live mode in our picture, we see that that, that image, that, that region of the image is gone. We are now seeing an image size of 234 kilobytes per image. If I clear that cropping region, and we look again at what the video was before the cropping. Um, we see about 295 K bytes. So we saved roughly 20% with the small amount of cropping that we did on our image size. Obviously, you can crop more aggressively than what I did and, and produce more data savings.